question that I've got is a lot, and I can't find the particular question because it's actually been a couple different emails that had like the same type of question. So this is going to be like the really watered down version of the question. Um, but how to get involved on campus. And this is a question that I answer literally almost every day. I'm a campus life ambassador at my university. So what that, that means is that I work with student activities, which is a department under student affairs in college at my university. And basically I help students get involved on campus. I work with student organizations to make sure that they're doing well on campus, that they're you know functioning properly and doing all the good stuff that they wanna do. And I just assist them in doing that. So how to get involved on campus is a really vague and wide and big question. First, um, look into the resources available on your campus. Uh, I know that at community colleges, they do sometimes have resources and different organizations that you can join, and but I know that it's slightly smaller when it's a, at a community college. I'm at a four-year university, <laughs> university, so my experience is a little bit different than at a community college, if you are at a community college, but which is actually pretty interesting. I kind of want to learn how community colleges work because I don't know how different or the same those institutions are opposed to four-year four -year colleges or universities. Anyway, but at a regular university, usually you have some type of student activities department or office on your campus. Sometimes it's called a student organization office. Sometimes it's called uh, student involvement. Sometimes it's called student activities. It can vary depending on the name or whatever it may be particular on your campus. But for me, I work in the student activities office, so that's kind of what I'm going to be, you know, talking based off of. So. First, how do you get involved? Like, how do you go to a meeting and just say, I want to join kind of thing? Like, that can be overwhelming sometimes. That can be scary, especially if you're new, you're a freshman, or even if you're a sophomore and you've kind of been there, but you really haven't been there much. You, you were focusing on your grades before, and now you want to see what kind of social life you can get started. Or if you, you have goals of becoming, you know, uh, in a sorority or fraternity one day, um, you want to get involved in some way, aspect, shape, or form. Is, is just go out there. Put yourself out there. Don't be afraid to extend yourself and show people who you really are. Um, a lot of times we get scared to really open up to people we don't know or to say, hey, I'm interested in this, um, which is, is kind of, you're, you're selling yourself short because at the end of the day, with most organizations, they want members. They want people to be interested in what they're doing and be a part of what they're doing. Believe me, I've been in enough organizations to tell you that we can always use more members. We can always use people to do more work and things like that. So don't ever say that, oh, you know, they're exclusive and I don't know if they want me to be a part. Don't, don't sell yourself short like that. Think about yourself. Think about the good things that you do, things that you can bring to the table and say, you know, I'm good at this, I'm good at that. This organization can use me too and I can give something back to this organization and I want to experience what it's like. Also, being involved on campus is super important because it does lead to, you know, promoting a sense of community and, and pride in your institution, in your university. So you feel like you have a part of what's going on and, and where you are. And that means something to us. For some odd reason, we want to feel a part of a group, of a community. And when you're involved, you start to build that and you start to gain, you know, relationships with people that you may have not just been regular friends with. Um, I've met tons of people in my organizations that would have never probably hung out with them, them outside of it, but because I joined that organization and I got to actually know them and see them work and things like that, it really opened my eyes to other kinds of people and experiences that I, I had with them really shaped who I am now. And so getting involved is very, very crucial to being in college, I I feel. I feel that if you don't get involved in college and you just focus on, focus on your academics and working, yeah, you know, you're there to achieve a degree. At the end of the day, that's what you're in college for. But at the same time, do you not realize that college is like so unique? It's so unique in the sense that this is the only time in your life that you will have time where you're grown, 
but you're kind of not grown, but you're grown because you have all these freedoms, but you're not grown because you don't have big, big adult bills, really. You live probably live in an apartment or something, or you live on campus or something like that, and you don't have like serious, serious responsibilities. Like you don't have to be at a nine to five every day. You can go to college and have crazy experiences like staying up all night partying and then taking a test in the morning. Well, that's not a healthy thing to do, of course, but it's a part of college. It's a part of experiencing what it feels like, bumping your head and picking yourself back up, you know, teaching yourself how to do this and do that, time management, organizational skills, interpersonal skills, all those leadership and just things that you learn and working in a team when you get involved is so, so crucial to being very successful when you actually exit college because through involvement, you do create a network. You do meet people and people get to see how you are in a work setting and when you're in your element and doing things that you're interested in doing because you don't, don't join an organization that you're not interested in. Of course, you're going to join something that you're interested in. So, when you're in that, you kind of get your eyes open to different things that you, in different perspectives that you may have not thought of before. So, I me, mean, I'm a poster child for getting involved. When I was a freshman, I wanted to leave my university. I was slightly involved, but I wasn't really involved in something I was truly passionate about. And I wanted to transfer. I didn't want to go to my school anymore. I was like, honestly, I don't even know if I want to be in college anymore. I, it's really not for me. But as I, you know, progressed and, and gave myself a chance to put myself out there and try different things, I finally found my niche on campus and really found what I was passionate about. And before college, I really didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. I didn't know what field I wanted to do. I had no idea. I was a business major when I first went into college. Now I'm a development and family studies major, which basically is like a lot of child development, human development, um, family studies, as in like learning about relationships within the family and kind of being able to like help people who do have family problems and looking at policies and laws that do affect like families and children and things like that, which while I'm very interested in it, that's not what I necessarily want to do. I chose that because it, it leads to a career in, in higher education because you can't really get an undergraduate degree in higher ed. It's kind of like you have to go, you have to do your master, get a master's degree to do that. So I chose development family studies because I'm truly interested in that. I want to help the community. I want to help children and mothers and fathers and looking at different relationships that affect people and how the father-child relationship is and how important that is because especially in minority communities, especially the black community, that father and child relationship is very vacant um, in a lot of people's lives and very lost. And so I like looking at those different kinds of things and being able to understand why those things are. And maybe that'll help me help other people later on down the line, you know, with whatever I do um, in, in that. Uh, because I do want to do something with my degree at the end of the day. I think more so in a nonprofit outside of my career versus for my career. Anyway, so being involved is awesome. It's like the best decision I ever made as a freshman in college because believe me, I would not be nowhere near the person that I am now without being involved. I would have never pictured myself where I am, what I want to do now with my life if I had not joined organizations when I first got there and really made a name for myself on campus. You should want to feel a part of where you are and you should want to feel like you had a part in making something better. And something I live by is I don't want to go somewhere and I don't want to be a part of something and not leave it better than it was when I before I got there. I want to see change. I want to see positive change. And so I think that's what I'm doing as a student leader on my campus because I am pretty involved and I've, I've been president of organizations. I'm president of my sorority. And so I've really, really enjoyed being involved. And if you aren't involved, get involved. Find something to be a part of. It makes you feel so, so I don't know, connected and you, you build these relationships and they, they mean so much more than your average friend because it's kind of like you surround yourself with people who are have the same mindset as you. Like, yeah, I'm trying to get my degree and do well in my grades. Yeah, I want to go out and have a good time. And yes, I want to take part in something that's 
fun for me that it, whether that's doing community service in the community or throwing events or you know just going to meetings and having discussion like all that kind of stuff is that's what college is about it's about finding who you are and really like exploring like different things and that's one thing that I just absolutely love about college is like how open it is and how like you can just kind of just be free and be whoever you want to be and it's it's a great feeling I, I love it and so that's what truly drew me to picking it as a career going into student affairs but definitely I want to push to you all that if you don't do anything in college get involved um, at least with one thing try to find something that you know sings to your soul because I can guarantee you you will not this, this episode of Ask J or webisode. Is it webisode since it's technically on YouTube? <laughs> that is it for today's Ask Jade. The next one coming up will be definitely on more of a more serious topic. I wanted to start my series off on a lighter note before I got into the deeper stuff that I've been asked. So until next time, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.